It's Iron Ninja Online, guys, and today I have a new game for you guys. It's called Minor Disturbance, and this is a game that I used to play like a while back. Um, as you can see here, it's actually available on the iPhone. Um, this is kind of a different version from the game, though. Um, this game is made by Jagex, which um, most people would know from RuneScape. I think that's their most popular game. But they have this uh, this site. It's called FunOrb.com. Anyways, they have a whole bunch of their other games on this. And this is probably my favorite on this site. But anyways, we'll jump right into it here. So we hit start game. And um, this is the first thing we see here is the miner market. And we get 500 gold and we can buy whatever we want. I'm not going to sit here and explain everything. But I'm going to choose the uh, O2 tank because we can uh, survive underwater longer. The gas mask so we can survive the... Uh, does it actually say what it is for any... No. We can survive the toxic gas though. And then also I'm going to buy the uh, double picks. And that allows us to climb back up like large hills and to hang off stuff. And it's actually really efficient. Anyway, so we'll go start game here. And this is the game. To get rich or die trying. Um, pretty much what we have to do is get as much um, of these minerals here. I'm pretty sure this one's copper and there's silver and gold and yada yada. And um, ideally you want to get out alive, but 9 times out of 10, that's probably not how it's going to happen for you. Um, in any case, so it's, it's a pretty fun game. I like it. I used to play it like a lot way back when. And uh, actually when I signed on, all my high scores were erased, but all the achievements stayed for some reason. So I'm not quite sure why, but uh, yeah. And uh, I'm not going to strip mine, so I'm not going to like go side to side and get every single mineral that I can get. But um, I'm definitely going to try to get most of them. And the main mechanics of this game is to use the arrow keys and your space bar as your, um, it's your like mining option. So you hold the space bar and it gives you the directions you can mine in and then you just hold down that arrow key in that direction and you can mine that way. So it's not too bad. We'll see how long we can last here for this run. Down, down. And as you get further along, you can see, um, well, first thing to note out is this is a volcano. It's not a mountain. Hence the, uh, seismic activity meter on that bottom left-hand corner there. Um, also though, as you can see, there's many, uh, nooks and crannies where there's, like, pre-built little chasm, chasms like this thing right here where I just land upon. And there's lots of water, and lot water really gets in the way, and it's probably the most annoying thing you'll have to overcome while playing this game. But uh, if you do it properly, you can definitely get around it easy. There's very rare times that I'll have water actually get in my way. And there's a lot of gold there early on. These rocks right here you can't break unless you have um, certain items. And they're usually not worth breaking unless you can see the mineral. Like this one, you, I can tell you it has gold. The ones above me right here, um, I'm pretty sure they have nothing. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm going to... Yeah, there is silver over there. So obviously the gold looking things are gold. Silver over there is silver. The, I guess, oranges looking uh, mineral we're getting is, I'm pretty sure, copper. And yes, diamonds in this game too. And I'm pretty sure emerald is as well. Okay, there's eyes in the bottom right of my screen. What those are is, um, it's usually a warning of a an area. So, sometimes you'll stumble across these, whoops, you gotta be careful of that too, because if you get hit by something, like, if I'm to mine that out, and if it hits me, then it, you know, it hurts me, and also it causes, uh, seismic activity to the volcano. Anyways, though, if you were to find, like, sometimes you'll find these little chasms, like this, and sometimes they'll have monsters and a, a fallen miner, sometimes they'll just be like that, it'll be like a little secret, uh, chasm. Not all the times the warnings will be 100% accurate, but sometimes they are, so you have to be worried about them. Really, the only way to kill the creatures for me right now is to have the blocks drop on their head. You can get a gun and kill them that way, but I usually don't invest in a gun in my starting equipment because it just it's money I don't need. I think there's a creature below me, actually. And, um, yep, shit. Okay. Um, anyway, so as I was saying, it's money invested that you don't really need, and also for the fact that, um, 
need to try to lure him underneath me, but it might not go that way. Yeah, it's money you don't need, and it's only really useful for killing these guys, as I trailed off like a hundred times there. Come on. Oh, you... What a jerk. He rushed me right off the bat there, destroyed that, and killed me. So as you see, this is like the uh, end game screen. It'll tell you how you died here, tell you your name. Um, this description will change depending on your score. And then there you go. So it tells you how many of the copper, silver, gold, emeralds, and diamonds that you collect. And that's basically it. it tells you your rank, and there you go. Um, those are all the scores since I started. I played like three games before this. We're going to go ahead and play another one there. Because that guy was a complete jerk and killed me right off the bat. Um, it says buy basic kit here. That's all of these things. And um, I already explained what the last two are. Dynamite lets you blow up rocks and kill those creatures too. It's somewhat useful. This thing is really uh, useful because it, it um, protects you from getting killed from above from like the falling rocks. This thing is just a light so you can see brighter. But in any case, I don't use a whole lot of these. Like, probably after this, the chart is useful too because it lets you know where you've been. Um, the sonar is actually useful too, but you know what? Um, nah, we'll keep what we have now. So let's get back into this here. Hopefully I can make it further down, get some more. Uh, and we'll get a higher score. But yeah, in any case, this is Meyer Disturbance. It's a fairly relaxing game. I mean, it can get more complex and definitely more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Exciting, I guess, for lack of a better word. But um, this is pretty much it. You just kind of mine. The further down you get, the harder it gets. There's parts where there's um, underwater like lakes, I guess you'd say, which are really annoying. Then at certain points, gas starts to build up, and uh, yeah, it's just overall it gets a lot harder. And that last guy, that like that monster, I would have been good, but it, it was kind of a awkward spawn for him. Like he had this wide open room, I had really no way to lure him underneath anything, and. If anything, I should have left. I just got greedy there because I wanted that guy's remains. Where that skeleton was, there's a fallen miner. So if you collect that, you uh, get like you have potential to get any gear after that that you don't already have. So it's uh, really useful. But at the same time, like I said, I kind of got greedy and you know I paid my price for it. But whatever. Just gotta be careful here. And as we go down deeper, it does get eventually, you'll notice like the seismic meter, it kind of goes more and more. And um, it reacts a lot more from different things too. Like like I said, if you use explosions and stuff, then it will react more. It doesn't react that badly for your, um, your mining. It does react a lot if, well, not a lot. It does react a little though, if you happen to uh, cause a cave-in in any place. So, but besides that, we're going to head over here and then we're going to double back to the other side. It's good to occasionally go from side to side of the volcano, like from one end to the other. But uh, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend doing it all the time. I also recommend not digging above you too, but I'm a fool, so. But yeah, it's just dangerous to dig above you. Well, break away for this one little piece there. So far, so good, and it's all quiet. There's the first little gas you've seen, and the gas travels all the way up. So, like, say it was right here, it could potentially start to build up right here at the very top there, but, uh, but yeah. Oh, there we go. It's all you really need to know is gas travels up, water travels down. It's kind of rudimentary, I guess, but... I want that silver. I don't think these eyes below me are actually a monster. Yeah. But the one to the left over here might be. So I gotta be careful about that. Yeah, it definitely is. The way, um, the way I can tell is because those normally don't like sit there by themselves. 
So that's a good um, indication. Sometimes you'll notice the cave-ins happening over where they are and stuff like that. So, so if I want to do is lure him right underneath me. Crap. Like that. And that's how you get rid of him. And we just got a diamond from that. Which is... It can happen sometimes. It's probably the least... Um... It's probably the crappiest thing you can get. But... You know, it adds to your score. So it's whatever. We'll keep on going here. Ideally... There's not really anything else I want from a miner. Considering I start off with everything I want. But it would not be nice to get something like the uh, sonar detector... Or the lamp or anything like that. Those things are nice to have. But they're not necessarily required. And the only reason I really take the double picks is for A. If I end up like down a long chasm. I can climb like that where you really can't if you don't have the double picks. Also it's for. Say I have the chance to escape because it, it will happen. Um, If I do have the chance to escape like all the way back to the top. This is probably one of the most efficient and probably one of your only ways to get it if you aren't smart about how you dig your uh, your mine out I guess because you can only jump like I think it's three high yeah it's well too high actually third one being it so like if you dig too far down then you have to basically dig yourself an alternate route to get back up which is actually extremely hard considering so you always have to be careful about that I'm actually gonna dig over here and get this little chunk of silver hopefully without killing myself cool i'm gonna double back to the other side real quick just to see if there was anything over there i missed mainly like a creature or a random vine of something good but it's looking like a no so we'll go back for the silver here Ooh, but there is something below me Now we wait. Yeah, he's right there. I can kill him if I time it right. Got him. A lot better this run. We want this other one. What'd I get this time? We got dynamite this time. I'll show it off real quick. Just for you guys to see. But um, yeah, I won't be using it. Let me come over here first. So for example... Let me just get this gold and the silver here. So if I want to get rid of this. Actually I should probably. Okay cool. If I want to get rid of this. You press your button to use the dynamite. You run away from it obviously. And there you go. That's what it does. Um, There's a different thing. It's charged explosives I believe. And they actually work underwater too so they're a lot uh more helpful but in any case um they're a lot better too but at the same time they cause a bigger seismic activity reaction like if you look on the bottom left now it's kind of going a little more wonky than it was before so i, I got to be careful about that that's the one reason i really don't use any um explosives or guns uh, go this way actually i was kind of regretting doing that but then again i just um, funneled out that water there so let's go up this way my phone is going off let's go down for these gold here and hopefully I can show you guys uh, what's underneath me nothing hopefully I can eventually show you guys emerald and gold or er, gold emerald and diamond I can probably get there in this round so far, it's been a really good run, so. I'm not too quite sure about how far down we are either. There is the one item you've seen on, like, at the beginning screen there. It's a map. Um, it doesn't, like, give you any number specifically, but you can get a more of an idea about how far down you are, but... It's kind of irrelevant considering most runs will end in death. Uh, end in death, unless you're. 
It's a good word for it. Unless you're just like, I don't know. You want to get out with what you have for some reason. But in any case, let's go down this way. Definitely going for the gold, but I want that silver. And so far, not a whole lot else. Ooh, there's something to my left here. And like you... Shoot. I don't see him. I do see him. Crap. That was close. They're really fast and uh, not forgiving. <laughs> as you guys have probably already seen, so... I want to try to go above them. I was just about to say, I haven't seen a miner in a while. Like a fallen miner, but... Speak and you shall receive, apparently. I gotta be careful when he moves like that. And now I'm screwed. And it doesn't help that that stupid seismic activity meter is in the bottom left corner. Where the thing is, so I can't see him. Do I risk it's the question now? I'm going to try to dig to a point where I can see him. Like, I can see him from here. Do I think I'm going to be fast enough? You know what I can do, actually? Probably going to regret this later, but... I want to go a little bit below him, though. That's what I'm going to do. Screw you. And it didn't even work. But you know what? I can get my goods now. I'm out. We actually got this shotgun, which I believe it's shift. Show it off to you real quick here. And there you go. It's pretty powerful. But as you see, I'm, I'm just wrecking this volcano right now. So i got to be really careful now. Especially because it's going to be a long climb up. And it's not necessarily going to be the most direct either, so. But oh well. At least we have the shotgun, so in case anything bad does happen, I can fight those guys close range. Which is always nice. I'm surprised I haven't seen an underwater, like, lake yet, but. I'm also glad at the same time, because they're really annoying. Mm, I don't know if I want to see what that is over there. Especially, you never really want to come in from the sides to figure out either. You always want to go, usually from a, the top. Especially if you don't have, like, double picks. But, um, more so just for safety reasons. Like, if you don't have anything to kill them with, then that's probably your only bet is to have something fall on the dude's head. But, what the hell's going on here? You gotta like dig some wacky way to get over to that gold vein. Of course, there's uh, another thing below me. Okay, whatever. Let's go and see if we can get lucky with this guy. Shoot. Not ideal at all. I shot him and there's the uh, charged explosives. I'm not going to show it to you because I'm afraid I'm going to have this volcano going nuts in a second. But I can start to see some emerald right below me there. So I'm going to go down and get that holy lot of emerald actually. So let's go down and get that real quick. Hopefully we can find diamond before this run is over. Not going to hold my breath for it but you never know. And I'm hitting a lot of gas. And you got to be careful too because gas... Um, it's very flammable, so if any kind of explosions happen, even if something drops, this is going to light that whole thing up. So you always want to be careful about that. And also, you kind of generally want to try to funnel it. I have the gas mask, so I'm semi-okay, but I mean, if it starts to pocket like that and you don't have a gas mask, you're going to die really fast.
And the O2 tank uh, will let me be underwater for a little bit longer, which is nice. But it's only only good for so long, so. And there are ways of getting rid of the gas, obviously, but none of which are good. However, I'm not going to worry about until I can get some diamond. I want to get some diamond this playthrough. If I can get diamond this run, then I'll be good. I'm lucky that didn't cause any bad thing to happen to me. I need him to come over just a slightly. Yep. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Fuck. <laughs> well, anyways, you can see what happened when that happens. So there you go. I went with a bang. That's definitely for sure. Well, technically I did get one diamond. That is right. So... That was definitely a good run. If you guys want to see more, uh, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it around. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.